Well, did you know that South Dakota has the second highest number of motorcycle owners per capita in the country? It's true. So what, what about it is, the, is it that a motorized two-wheeled bike appeals to so many of us? Jim Latand is here with Power Brokers Inc. from Sioux Falls. He's going to tell us more about the motorcycle mania that is sweeping Kelloland. Jim, thanks for being here today. Good thanks to see for being you. with yeah. you, Gary. Holy cow, this is, I, th I thought you were going to bring in something a little more, but this is, a, this is an intimidating bike. This is kind of the cutting edge of what's happening in the motorcycle market right now. They call this an adventure bike. So you can take off on this and you can have your bags on it and all of the stuff. And you can take off oh, and ride cross country and yeah. jump off the thing and ride into the trails or ride in the trees with it. So what, what is the appeal? Brittany was talking about how she loved doing it as a kid. And, and obviously you do this for a living. But what is the appeal do you find with most people? One of the things that I think is most appealing about it is you can see things from a motorcycle, smell things from a motorcycle that you don't see and smell from a car. It's the balance, it's the, all the parts working together, the hum of the machine, and in my case, it's performance. I like the, the rock and roll feel of going down the road and being able to twist the throttle and pass somebody or do whatever and go through the curves and that kind of thing. What well, are there trends? I mean, you talked about this bike and, and you know, this is probably a newer, it's got, you know, uh, the new make, but are there other trends that you see changing in, in with, uh, with this, with motorcycles in, in 2018? Yeah, for the longest time, people, really went to the loudest, the shiniest, and all of that. Uh, with the change out of the baby boomers into the millennials and the new riders getting into it, they tend to want more fuel efficient machines, lighter, more agile machines. One of the other trends that's really taking off in addition to the adventure bike thing is vintage stuff. I heard you talk about Rupp mini yeah, bikes Rupp, and that yeah. kind of thing's offset. Um, we have an event at, the, at Marlins on Minnesota Avenue called Last Thursday where we have vintage motorcycles come the last Thursday of every month during the summer. And it's amazing the people that have got cool stuff sitting in a shed somewhere. And the old joke is ride it, don't hide it. We yeah. want to get it out and let people see it. So that's another trend. So obviously, is that one of the things you might use to bring people back into motorcycle? You know, I mean, how do you, you know, just say, okay, I'm going to start again, or how do I want to get back involved with it? So, well, how do you help people in the, that regard? The rider safety course is a big part of it. I think, you know, when you look at what, what's happening in the market, uh, you know, Brittany brought it up, the safety issue always becomes a thing. And I think a lot of the safety thing is just a comfort with the motorcycle and comfort with your surroundings. If you're in that situation and you feel like you can, you can learn from the South Dakota Safety Council or the Rider's Edge course that they put on up at JNL Harley, you're going to be better prepared to get out in traffic. That way, when you do per make a purchase or you do enter into the market, you're ready to go out and be on those streets and roads safely. Let's talk about bringing the family involved. Sometimes it usually might be mom or dad, but moms. Now we're seeing more moms, but getting yeah. the kids involved too. Well, the grassroots of the thing, and again, back to her family being involved in dirt bike racing, a lot of motorcycling really took off after World War II. The people came back, they were in war, they were used to being on edge and excited. They came back to what they considered was a boring lifestyle back in the United States. <laughs> when they got back on the land, they started racing. You know, my dad always joked that the first race ha happened when the first two people started on a line and took off. That's what happened with motorcycling. So a lot of the family part of it is the fact that people are getting involved in motorcycling from a racing standpoint. They're taking kids to the racetrack, they're watching races on TV and getting involved that way. And then as it grows into a sport where they can trail ride in the Black Hills or go somewhere else on the bikes. Yeah, and then obviously the safety piece goes along with it too. The mom right. and dad feel more comfortable with it because we've done everything we can to try to make it as safe as possible. Yes. Let's talk about some of the misperceptions though about motorcycling <laughs> because it's, you know, there's the, I mean, you're out there, you're exposed, it's like the, the fear factor of wiping out, getting hurt, I mean, all those things. Let's yeah. talk about that. And, and I think the big thing with, with it, as always, there's, there's always a level of, of insecurity when you're out there and there's always a chance. But I think one of the most important things we can do as dealers and as fellow riders is to get people in situations where they're not riding down 41st Street on their first ride. Right. You know, you want to take yeah. off and ride out to Lyons or ride out to Trent or go somewhere where there isn't a lot of traffic and that kind of thing. Wear the proper gear. You know, it's mm -hmm. a choice. So no one is going to mandate that you've got to wear a helmet or leather coat or gloves or any of that. It's just a strong suggestion when you're getting started. And I think the other thing with it is, is getting, getting people to know and understand that there are more obstacles out there and that isn't part of the fun, but it's part of the risk. And, and that, is, that is part of the fun. I mean, people want to go out and do things that other people aren't doing. And you can see things from a motorcycle that you don't see from the car. 
part of it is just in the Black Hills especially. There's roads you'll ride on a motorcycle that you would never ride in yeah. or take in a car. So. Well, I know Power Brokers Inc. has done a great job of, of, of with all type of recreational vehicles and not just motorcycles, but you've got a special offer for Kelloland living viewers that you'd like to talk about. Yes, and one of the things that we'd like to do um, this year for 2018 is we would offer to reimburse you for your rider safety course when you make a purchase of a motorcycle from us at Power Brokers Inc. And I think what that really does is it reinforces the, the need for the rider safety course. And you can go online, SouthDakotaSafetyCouncil.org. Uh, they will actually have the schedule and all of that posted in March. All you'll have to do is bring in your certificate that says you passed it. It's a $75 fee. We'll either remove it from the purchase price of the machine or just directly reimburse you for the, the cost of the course if you purchase a machine from us. That's awesome, Jim. Thanks for thanks, doing Gary. that. Yeah, thanks for being on here today. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of learning things. So thanks, thanks again for being with us today.